Um, <clears throat> I think they probably got 20 too many. I think if we could have kept them to around 200, we'd have fancy chasing that. It was obviously a very good pitch, and um, I think Shaki played really, really well. He picked his match up and um, took those two overs of 26, and he's one of the best in the world. So um, I think his innings is probably the difference. Um, I think tomorrow, if it's going to be a good pitch again, maybe we can go to a defensive plans with the ball a little bit earlier and try and take the pitch out of it. But um, yeah, I thought I thought they played well and they've been the form team of the tournament. But hopefully, we can bounce back tomorrow. Um, what do you think? Guys can chase down from I, we believed it at the halfway stage, yeah, you never know, especially here, it's small boundaries and a very good pitch. So we had the belief um, at the halfway stage, but unfortunately it didn't happen. They, they kept taking wickets, which always makes it difficult to, to chase big totals. So, um, yeah, a, a very strong team and they, they were better than us today. And your personal experience, you played here before, before the VPN and for the international side as well. This time around, how do you see it? Yeah, it's good, and there's, there's some really good players involved as well. Um, lots of guys want to come here and play. The cricket's very good, and we get looked after very, very well by the people. So um, it's a tournament I enjoy playing in, and hopefully I can play more in in the future. Um, but yeah, this is a, particularly this ground is somewhere I've enjoyed batting. It's a very nice place to bat. So great memories here with England during the World Cup and my time with Rangpur a few years ago. What is the uh, different country? <laughs> no, uh, not much difference at all. It's a very good standard here. You don't see not that many overseas batters come here and score lots and lots of runs. So it's a, it's a good challenge coming to Bangladesh. Um, bowlers are very skillful, and you have to play you have to play well and adapt to score runs. Uh, both tournaments are very tough, and ones I enjoy. That's just talking about the difference. Uh, I want to know that uh, BPL is struggling with the players' comps, and they are more, they are, oh, small players are playing uh, for the full season. What are the reasons behind that? Do you get them uh, apart for playing good season? Yeah, it's, it's difficult when there's so many tournaments on at the same time. I think there's like three or four tournaments happening now, so it's quite tough to, to keep players for the whole time. But um, you know, hopefully going forward, they're, they're, they're not all together. They're spaced out, so it gives a chance to play for the full tournament. Because I'd, I'd love to play in this tournament for a long time, but I've already signed a contract in Pakistan. I signed a PSL deal months and months ago, so I didn't have the chance to play the full tournament this year, but I hope so next year. Do you get the offer from India for playing uh, I'd, I had already committed to Pakistan before uh, Bangladesh was auctioned or drafted, so I'd, I'd already committed, so I couldn't do the full season. Uh, has you played before for Rangpur Riders uh, in the past in the in the BPL, and today you played against Rangpur Riders. Uh, how? What's the feeling? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always difficult playing against a team that you've already played for in the past and it hasn't happened too much for me. I've been lucky in the past that, you know, in different countries I've stayed with the same team for a few seasons. So it was a new one for me, but um, I really enjoyed it. it was, uh, there was a little bit of um, nice chat before the game, which was always good to see, um, but all in good nature. And yeah, um, I, enjoy, I enjoyed today, unfortunately, not to get the win. My question is, is this, you only play, we only play for four teams for four months. My question is, is this ideal for a franchise tournament like this? They are come and go. Uh, it, I think it depends on the situation. I think I think it depends on the situation. I think this. I think it's perfect now for Corner because they've got two very tough games. They play Rangpur and Camilla Victorian. So I think if you can pick someone to try and help you get those wins for those two games, and I can't see it being a detriment. But I think going forward, long term, you want to keep players as long as possible because um, it definitely helps the team. But uh, for this situation, I'm quite happy doing it because re it's two very important games. And at this ground, my record's good. I think I've scored two hundreds here and, and 80s in only six or seven games. So I feel like you know, I've, I've earned my place in, in the team for, this, for these two games just because I feel like I can perform well at this ground. But going forward, I think it's better to have players for long periods. Alex, uh, Alex uh, how difficult is it uh, at the players' perspective, going to the places, places and the different conditions? How do you adapt? How, how is your preparation? It is, it's difficult, yeah, and I'm, I guess I'm lucky with the experience I have. I've played a lot of cricket in Bangladesh and World Cups and series and BPLs and I've, I, you know, I've jetted off around the world and played in lots of conditions, so I feel, like, I feel like I know what's required in each country. There's slightly different skill sets for each one, but I think that comes through experience and, and playing in those conditions, and, I, and I'm lucky to have played in lots of different countries. Uh, as you uh, saw that Shakib and Sheikh Mahdi uh, from the opponent played super wins, and they're from Bangladesh. Uh, it's not that Bangladeshi players are not uh, known for big hitters, but uh, they played some good innings today. 
Uh, what's your talk about this? Very impressive, yeah. Um, and there were some big sixes tonight as well. Um, and it's good to see. I think, you know, if, if you get good players around and the tournament gets better and better, then you can see more and more big hitters. So, um, those two were very impressive today. Um, they picked their overs. Like, they took two big overs, which probably took the game away from us. So, yeah, it was very impressive striking tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys.